Okay, so what is sensory processing? Well, it's the ability to take in all the information from the world around us and from our bodies, take it in, take it to the brain. The brain's got to make sense of it, it's got to sort it through, it's got to decide what's relevant, what's not, what it's going to pay attention to, what's not. It has to interpret our senses and then respond appropriately, we trust to it. So if you have um, someone stroking your arm or there is something on your arm, you're taking in that information from your sensory tactile receptors, it's going to your brain and your brain is trying to work out there is something on my arm, is it a feather, is it a fly, is it someone that I love touching me? because then you will respond according to how it's been interpreted. So I'm either gonna flick it off or I'm gonna hit it and hopefully if it's someone that I love, I will respond in love back. And that's where we get our issues. Somewhere in the processing of it all, there's a blockage, something is getting in the way and it, we're not responding in the way that typically people do. It's something that we do right from development in the womb through to the tomb. It's a womb to tomb experience and we never stop processing sensory experiences until our very last breath. So it is powerful, it really makes a difference to how we are. What it isn't is if there is some brain damage in the brain or a real sensory loss. So if there's a visual impairment, this isn't about making the eyes see better or if a child has cerebral palsy, it isn't about making that motor function improve. We need different strategies for that. This is about the processing um, of the senses in a, in a very different way. So we're not going to look at specific diagnoses, although we can have sensory processing issues into and on top of other diagnoses, and that's why it affects all of us regardless of whether we are on the autistic spectrum disorder, have ADHD, DCD, or whether it's just you and me, whether it's just us, we are all processing senses. And we are gonna have a go and have a look at how you are processing senses so that you can have a feel for what it's like for those who are having more difficulties with them.